Starting off today on your side as Governor McMaster is calling for a sled investigation over concerns regarding voter registration forms. Greenville Representative Adam Morgan says non-citizens are getting the forms when they apply for Medicaid. Our Walker Lawson has been looking into it all day. He joins us now with the details. Good evening. Governor Henry McMaster is calling this a very serious allegation, saying the integrity of our elections is indeed a top concern. We reached out to SLED and they told us they're looking into the allegations. In the state of South Carolina, we have not had any issues. We have never had an instance of a non-citizen voting in the state of South Carolina. TJ Lunden, Director of Public Information at the South Carolina Elections Commission, says the form comes from the Department of Health and Human Resources, who have federal mandates to provide voter information, calling it a standard form. He adds there are protocols in place when voting and ensures the integrity of the elections. Uh, but even if that were a form that was a voter's registration application, there's still a vetting process that happens. So, you know, we would still go in as the county board and as the state election commission, we would still go in and vet that person to ensure that they meet all of the criteria to register to vote, including citizenship. We reached out to the Department of Health and Human Services who say they're required by Section 7 of the National Voter Registration Act of 1993 to offer voter registration information. They're aware of reports that someone applying for Medicaid coverage as a refugee was sent a voter registration form. Adding Representative Morgan has not been in contact with their office about the issue. Lunden says this instance has led to threats against election staff that are being investigated by SLED. We've had a flurry of calls. Uh, I think, you know, probably over 100 calls on this matter, emails, uh, voicemails that have come in, and some of those have risen to the level of being threatening, uh, telling our employees to watch their backs. We reached out to Republican Representative Adam Morgan's office for an interview and did not hear back before our deadline. In studio, I'm Walker Lawson, News 19, WLTX. Walker, thank you so much.